Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is in the following pedigree what is the inbreeding coefficient of the person B. And if you are not familiar with this pedigree, uh, I can show you another picture. So take a look, woman and man here and we have connection here. That means that this is a married couple which has two children. One female child, another is male child. And this is exactly what we see here. A couple who has two children, male child and female child. And each child is married and each couple has a child. Female child here, male child here. And this is what we see here. So one couple, another couple here, female child and male child here. And this female also married and this couple has a daughter and this daughter is married to this person here and this couple has a son B. So now you see on the left and on the right, this is uh, the same pedigree, just different representation. So what is the inbreeding coefficient? This is probability that person B would have in any given locus two identical alleles inherited from the same uh, ancestor. So two alleles have to be identical by descent. So we have as you see two loops here. Here is going to be one loop. How the same allele can come from uh, both sides, mother side and father side. If we don't have a loop, then we cannot calculate inbreeding coefficient. Here is another loop. Also, uh, person B can get two identical alleles from both his mother side and father side from this ancestor. Only these two people can be common ancestors to person B from both his mother side and father side. Let me show you example. Imagine that this person at locus A, gene A, may have two alleles, A1 allele and A2 allele. And this person may have at locus A also two alleles, A3 and A4. In order to get two identical alleles from any of these ancestors, the pathway have to be as follows. For example, allele A1 can be inherited like this. And the probability would be one half here, one half here, one half here, and one half here. And the same allele person B can get from his father side. Take a look. And probability to get it also would be one half, one half, and one half. So he is going to get another A1 allele here. But he also can get allele A2, so like this, from both uh, his mother side and father side. And every time probability is also going to be one half, one half, one half and one half every time. And uh, he can get two identical alleles, which is going to be A2 and A2. The same is true for these two alleles that he can get from this uh, common ancestor. The pathway or loop would be slightly different uh, this time. This, this, this and this. So he is going to be a loop. And this is how he can get to A3 alleles, which is going to be identical by descent. And the last variant would be uh, this pathway here and loop again. A4, A4. Uh, alleles can be identical by descent. 
uh, inherited from this ancestor. So we have four, four variants how this person at the locus A can get two identical alleles, identical by descent. So let's count the probability. Say for A1, A1, it's going to be one half, one half, one half, one half. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. So that give us one half in the power of seven. And the same is going to be true each time. One half in the power of seven, uh, one half in the power of seven, and one half in the power of seven. In order to calculate joint probability, or uh, because uh, if uh, this person B would have two identical alleles, it can be any of this, we have to add all these probabilities. For example, if we add these two probabilities, we are going to get one half in the power of six. And if we add these two probabilities, we are also going to get one half in the power of six. And again, if we add these two probabilities, we are going to get one half in the power of. This means this number multiplied by itself five times. One half multiplied by one half, by one half, and by one half, and by one half, five times. So what we are going to get, one half multiplied by one half, one quarter, multiplied by one half, one eighth, one sixteenth, one thirty-two. One thirty-two. This is going to be our final answer. But is there any as a way to calculate uh, this inbreeding coefficient fast. Yes, there is a method. We only can uh, calculate nodes instead of passes. And take a look. We have one node here, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So this is going to be our one loop through the mother side. We got one, two, three, four, five, six nodes. This time we have one half in the power of six plus second set of nodes, which are going to be almost identical to this, but uh, this time through this loop would go through uh, this ancestor here. This is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six again, nodes, and let's add this number. This is going to be one half in the power of six. Again, we just add two loops and only calculate nodes, excluding the person itself for whom we're doing this calculation. Uh, we are going to get the same number, one half in the power of five, and that means one over 32. And this is going to be our final answer. As you see, we can do these calculations are pretty fast. The only reason it took me that long, I want you to understand all the uh, theory behind this. But uh, if you would uh, just calculate number of nodes in each loop, these calculations should take less than 60 seconds. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.